This video was sponsored by EA. I, I talk a lot, man. You gotta stop me, otherwise I can no. go on forever. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? It's Lebanese way. You talk and you talk and you talk until you're both ready to go to bed. That's for how sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>you do, do you understand when I say Arabic? Uh, a little bit. Not not enough. Your father should teach you. Oh, man. He he tried for so many years. In the end, I only know the swears, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. El, el yes, 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 the best swears in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So the question I wanted to ask you was, how does your Lebanese culture impact the games that you make and the stories that you tell, if they do? I mean... I mean, just the way I talk and my energy is very Lebanese, I would say. But yes. there are actually some specific stuff that happened to me in Lebanon that I have used in my creativity, both in my uh, movie making. I, I, Zozo is actually a film I made about my life, like uh, how I traveled from Lebanon, Sweden. That was yeah. a big inspiration. And also my first game, Brothers, without spoiling it too much. Actually, there's a, spe a specific scene that is very close to my heart, actually that is in that game that happened in Lebanon. So there's definitely stuff that I experienced in Lebanon that I use in in, 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 in both games and movies for sure. Uh, when you're creatively stuck, what do you do to get unstuck? If you're creatively blocked as a writer or something that you're doing alone, it's harder. But when you have a team around you, if you are blocked then you can go with someone that's working on a particle effects or animation, then that inspires you to something else. So, so it's easy when you're a bigger team you don't get stuck as easy as you do if you're alone trying to figure something out, you know what I mean? I'm assuming that at Hazelight, you've worked with so many of the same people over the course of yeah, so yeah. years. Your relationships are so much more personable. So when you're like, I'm having a shit day, someone can go, hey, I got you. Let's talk about it. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it, it, it's, a, it's a crazy place here at Hazelight. We have a lot of fun here, you know? You should ask my team what they think, but they think I'm kind of a nutcase, but... Uh, <laughs> We love well, it. I, it's kind to, of crazy. <laughs> to, to be fair, uh, Joseph, I think the internet overall thinks you're a nutcase. But, Perfect. Uh, but uh, I I never saw you as a nutcase. I always saw you as a Lebanese person. Uh, Perfect. That's, that's yeah, the yeah. difference. A Lebanese when, nutcase. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Across the three games, visually, they're so different from one another. How yeah. do you approach the visual design when when designing three three concepts like a Brothers, A Way Out, and It Takes Two? I mean, it's it's not just the visuals; it's the way you play them as well. Mm. So for us, it's very important. Like when when in, it, when it's a new game, it's 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 more like fun, interesting, challenging to create something totally new from the beginning instead of just doing the same thing. So it's yeah. about challenging yourself, not only visually, but mechanically, story-wise. I mean, if you look at the latest game, it takes two, we're doing kind of a rom-com, which hasn't really been done in gaming so much. Yeah. So it's all about when you we're like when you challenge yourself to do different stuff, that's, I, I love that. And that's what we're keep, gonna keep doing. To do the, it's not it's not fun to do the same thing over and over again. You want to, to like change it up all the time and try new stuff. And that's also actually how you learn stuff by doing stuff that you're not so comfortable with, to be honest. Yeah, there's mm. there's this essence of the, you know, between, I mean, playing brothers in a way out, there is this almost like this sense of maturity and progression within both games. You know, you have- a For more, sure. And, oh. and even though both are, uh, you know, are kind of like about brotherly bonds and connections. Yeah. They're so just tonally different and, and yeah. they can exist in their own ways. You know, I was, sure. a, big, I was a big fan of, a bro of Brothers. And then, you know, when I saw the reveal of A, a Way Out, I, I, I was almost like left brain, right brain. I just saw two oh, yeah, different, yeah, yeah. Two different yeah. pieces of a puzzle yeah. that, that uh, you know, just are so intrinsically tied in their, in, in their relationships. Yes, and here's the thing, you know, when we did A Way Out in the beginning, there was a lot of concerns like, can we only do co-op story? Will this work? Is there audience for it? Will people buy this, play this? But I mean, I'm actually surprised that I don't see more games like that today, because obviously A Way Out has been a huge success. There's definitely a market for it. So I wish there were more games like that, but, because here's the thing. We love to experience stories together. It's always better to watch a movie together with someone yeah. than alone, like they're going to the cinema. So experiencing a great story together is something that should be so obvious. But I oh, mean, yeah. so co-op games doesn't just, I mean, I'm not saying th those co-op games should exist as well. Your typical drop in, drop out, leveling up, shooting, that's fine. But 
On the other hand, these story copies should exist as well because you want to experience stories together. And that's what we're focusing on. Yeah, you made, you made a way out and then you're making It Takes Two and it feels like there's so much time and space between those two games and the market isn't flooded with, with more co-op experiences, which is a shame because especially now during the pandemic. I think it might be that still people feel that uh, there's not really a market for it, but I think mm -hmm. after this game, I think publishers will feel like, okay, let's do this. I think we, we're ready for this, you know? Yeah. And who knows, maybe some developers feels that it's only Hazelight are masters at this. Let's not interfere with what they do, the story code. I don't know, but I just I hope mean, more games like that come out soon. I mean, you know, in what, in, what do they say? Uh, imitation is the most, you know, of course, uh, is the biggest I would, more flattery, right? Trust me, I would be more than happy if more games are like that, because that's what I want to play. That's if, essentially that's what we're doing here. Like yeah. games that you want to play yourself, you know. So it yeah. takes two a way out, brothers. Game that you want to play, you know. Yeah. Trust me, when you play the game, you will understand what I mean. Play it from beginning to end. Outside of from the apparent, from the apparent co-op elements, um, how does take uh, it takes two aim to build upon or deviate? from what you've done in A Way Out or uh, Brothers? It's even more, you know, I talk a lot about uh, combining the story and gameplay. So that's even taken to even more further in this game. So everything that happens in the story, we try to make a mechanic with it. We try to make that so that what the characters are going through, you actually are playing it. So it's not just having a mechanic that you have throughout the whole game and the story just goes on in the background. The whole idea is to, uh, to get those two together really, you know, to get the design and the writing to work hand in hand. I think that's something we've redone really well and we'll keep on getting better at. You know, sometimes you see games that almost like the writers and designers have done two different games, you know? It's almost like you, you're playing one game and there's this other story going on. This is our goal to put them together as much as we can, even if it's just the metaphor uh, way, it, it, it's, it's well worth it. The, the idea of, of uh, you know, uh, a couple having to work together. It's almost like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with the essence of of therapy in yeah, yeah, yeah. into co-op gameplay. Like crazy, I think yeah. I, I immediately thought like, man, you're you're about to divorce your partner and now you're 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 relying on your partner to survive yeah. and, and cooperate yes. together. While yes, also yeah. while also have to deal with the animosity of yeah, yeah, relationships yeah. falling apart. Like there's so exactly. many different layers of, of yeah. personal journey for these two. And exactly what you talk about was the exact challenge because I mean creating a story in co-op as well, not only is it hard to write like a romantic comedy and make it work, but also to pace it. An interactive experience always hard to In a movie, you have way more control of the pacing and what's going on. So in a game already, you have a problem with how you pace it, how you tell the story. In a co-op, it's even a further add, so because then you're probably talking to your partner, you're not as focused on the game. So, yeah. so there's a lot of challenges with this, but but uh, I feel, I'm very happy where, where we took this game for sure. For you guys, was it a matter of once once a way out was done, you were like, all right, we're going to the next title. Yes. It was, it was that quick? It was that quick. Yeah, immediately after, I think a couple of, I mean, we're right now working on the next project. Oh my I mean, gosh. We, are very, we are very early, obviously, because yeah. we are like marketing this game and working on this, but uh, it's already in the works. Yeah. Full action, man. You know, like, but we don't rest, man. It's all full action. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. It's high octane. Gotta, gotta get it going, it man. Yeah. Gotta get it going. How much? How much change from the early designs of it takes to to what we're going to be experiencing today? I'm always interested to hear about mm. what might have been a happy accident or how making a simple cut simply oh. changed everything about yeah. the game. Well, there's not no nothing major change. However. For instance, the controls that I'm super happy where we got them. I mean, we've done an amazing job there. Obviously, they've been worked on throughout the whole period. And one thing also I'm super happy about is that we kind of like, it's changing so much in mechanic and we managed to polish everything. Those, I mean, it's hard to say that is, but those are the stuff that changed a lot during production. Because we do obviously a lot of internal testing where we try different mechanics. Uh, some scenes you have to change. Uh, we had some moments where some puzzles were a bit too hard, too challenging. Mm. And because this is a narrative experience, you want to keep it fluid and experience got the flow so you don't get stuck for too long. How is QA on, on a narrative driven game like this? It's got to be uh, kind of hair pulling at times, considering that you have to worry about 
their narrative well, elements on top of the gameplay. Yeah, the but the good thing, we're getting better and better at this to let the design and, 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 uh, and the story come together in a good way. So we do a lot of testing. We try, 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 and I, I, I keep pushing the team to new levels. That's that's something I'm really good at. They're like, now we're going to fuck shit up. I always say, fuck shit up, fuck shit up. I, you know, they've heard me say that so many times, but <laughs> fuck shit up. But they know what I mean by that. Let's go beyond what we think is good. Let's go beyond our creative minds. Let's find that shit that we don't think we can find and then go there. Uh, and I think you feel, you feel the the passion in the game, uh, what we have created when you play it. And it's going to, the, the, I mean, sometimes they, <laughs> They laugh the team because there's huge amount of variation. They're like, what the fuck are we doing? But we did it and we managed to do it. And you will see when you play the game from the beginning to the end, I think we will break some kind of world record on how many mechanics we have in the game, actually. Oh, and not, we're not we're not even talking about all the mini games we have and interactions and blah, blah, blah. And it's a huge amount of contents during the 14 hours of playthrough. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Joseph, I'm, I'm ready to play when you are. Let's, let's, let's do let's it, get man. I'm ready. So right now they just realize how the world is built. It's kind of a bit, uh, it's almost like the world is a fantasy representation yeah. of their own shit. So that's why you see in this case, uh, their fuses has come alive. So, and their goal right now is to get to their daughter Rose and try to understand what has happened. Why have they become dolls? And, yeah. and obviously just before this scene, we've seen that these parents want to divorce and suddenly yeah. they're in this adventure together. So, yeah, so who who designed the dolls in, in the story? Did the daughter design them or is just kind of how it came Yes, the daughter in the story, she is the one that designed this. It's a way of her of coping. And the thing is with the parents is that you know, it, they have become quite egoistic, like their life has catch up to them. They they will do stuff in the game that feels quite yeah. weird and odd. But uh, the daughter, they, they don't, that's the part of the story. They forgot about their daughter almost in, in their like uh, daily life and what's going on, but like that. So so she, she, she's created them to kind of cope with her, with her like, uh, because she really wants them to stay together and, yeah. and, be, and stay as a couple. I have to ask, you know, and there was a question I had down here, but I skipped. The the mobility in this is incredible. You've got fluid motion, you got double jumping and sprinting and dashing. Yeah. Um, what what was kind of your guys' inspiration with regards to the action platformer genre? Oh, there's many. Uh, I mean, there's no uh, as a for sure. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. Yeah. But this is actually a love letter for all games out there. I mean. And many in the team are a huge action adventure platformer fans. So it's a yeah. it's a combination of everything. You will see when you play this game. There's so much to it. So it, it's crazy, like how, with the variation. So, so inspiration is actually all the great games out there, pretty much. Yeah. So when you we also made it like a very easy checkpoint. Like if you die like this, you will come back immediately. So you want it to be like if you jump in the saw, you see, it's like it's immediate checkpoint. Yeah. So there's no no, so no like jump jump. No, no waiting, no. come back, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You're actually very good at playing. I see. Oh. I, I understand why. Uh, I tell that sometimes to people like there's a reason why some YouTubers manage to have success. You need to know how to play. <laughs> yeah. so you don't get frustrated. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm, it, well, it's funny because uh, my, my whole thing online is I'm the completionist. So every game, oh. I, I 100% uh -huh. games, 100% and action, wow. pla action platformers is my favorite genre so oh you're oh. gonna love this my man you just wait and see as a yeah i'm you just I'm wait and see oh my god <laughs> so right now for instance uh, there's here's an example where i say story and gameplay so here they will meet uh uh th his uh code is vacuum and he sucked up a lot of shit in that vacuum yeah so that dr hakim obviously he wants to you know get them back together as a couple yeah uh, so he challenges all the time but uh, so when we meet this vacuum, that's what we will be playing. And we've also made it so like uh, you can mess around a little bit. Like if you jump into that, I can kill you like this, you know. <laughs> so I have to like you can mess around a little bit. So I have to hold this up. Otherwise, you'll die. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Yes, okay. so I hold it up for you. Yeah, then you can, and like... then I got you. And then I'm over here. Yeah, and exactly. This, and this. Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. And then like that, wow. boom! I do this, and then like how? Whoa! It's so it's, it's so it's, everything you're playing. Like for instance, this back, it will only be in this level that will go on for probably 20 minutes or something, you know. So it's always something new that's gonna happen. So for you, that's uh, that are a big fan of, you know, 
adventure platformer. You're gonna love this. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Oh man, I, 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 you couldn't see on my screen, but uh, I, I like wall jumped to catch the platform. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's perfect, man. <laughs> I, Boom. I, can't, I can't wait to see this game in the, in the speedrun setting to see two speedrunners. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can. <laughs> yeah, speedrunning this is going to be quite interesting to see, actually. Here's another example how we can mess with the other players. So, so if you come here, like. That was kind of like, fun, <laughs> <laughs> so you can just mess around a lot here. Something that I've, I immediately recognize that's really cool is that. Uh, there's not a lot of stopping and going, you know, it's a lot of like kind of learn on the fly, which I think is so good Every time a game is like wait stop. This is how you grab and it's like I don't care I want to I want to get there quickly. I gotta learn how to do it and I th and Already I can tell like that you guys have mastered the passive education without stopping gameplay flow Yes, right now look here. I have a hammer. It's May's hammer. It's her toolbox Yeah, so again like we're playing a different mechanic. I see I hammered you down actually yeah, we're playing a different mechanic because that's what the story takes us. And you have actually a nail. You can shoot at the spray can if you want. But I'm in charge of the nail. And then you can recall it with Y, like. Oh, cool! Yeah. The way that you guys do this, it seems very uh, intuitive. Like exactly. The, 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 the minute intuitive I saw, the, yeah, the minute I saw you uh, hit the switch, I knew exactly what to do. Cool. Now you see you don't you don't have a hammer. Here's the thing with this game: almost all levels have a unique mechanic for every character. So depending on what character you're playing, you get a different experience. So here, yeah, I need another oh, nail here. Oh, fucking god, this is genius. There, boom. That's it. Here, I found another nail for you here. See? You're gonna let me help you oh. over. So now you got two nails. But again, so what we're playing here is only for this level. So it's not like we're gonna get back to the hammer and nail, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. the whole idea to keep the experience fresh and unique. Yeah, you know, I remember I told you we have like almost 25 different mini games spread out in the world. Yeah. These are like uh, stuff throughout the world that we have spread out for you to, you know, to challenge you and to compete with each other. So it yeah. is a co op game. But you will definitely have uh, scenarios where you actually play, uh, you know, against each other as well. So here you get like how oh. to do it. <laughs> You're trying yeah. to hit me, and I'm trying to avoid yes. you. Got it? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have many of these meeting. There, some of them are like really crazy and complex and super cool. Yeah. And they're just optional, obviously. So I'm, I, I'm gonna hit you. Here. So, but you have to be up for a while, otherwise you don't get the point. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy God! Ah, uh, good, good. <laughs> Oh, Boom! Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, there are m many of them. We, I mean, we have some really cool mini games there. But it's not only also that the mechanic changes. Also, visually, it's something new of every yeah, level. Yeah, I, like. I was gonna say something that that you know we've we've seen so many um, atmospheres so far that uh, yeah. it's it's fascinating to see the colors. Like you know, it we started out in the you know, the, the grim kind of shack, and now we're kind of in this. Very uh, lively, you know, uh, shrubbery based area. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. here we go. Yeah, this is just stuff, stuff, interaction you have. You just throw them and interact with them. That's again oh, I what I say. Like, they, we don't have a lot of collectibles. We just have like stuff you can interact with and do. Yeah. Uh, it's more fun to create a world that's alive and interesting and, and nice. It feels so fast and so so fluid. I it yeah. And and I don't feel uh you know when you do, when there's a lot of cooperative platformers there's this yeah. essence of like one of us is behind and we can't keep up. But the yeah. way that you guys do this, I I don't feel that nagging like grossness of oh I suck or oh I cool, can't man. keep up. Yeah, it, it feels That's cool, cool. We have to work together. It's not a it's not a a competitive. Uh, edge until the mini games of course nice nice in their tree the squirrels and the wasp has been fighting they have almost a war between them yeah and it's connected so cody and may have now to use the technology of the squirrels to take out the wasps you know what i mean so look if i if i shoot my dad boom it explodes we create ah, kind yeah. of an explosion so now again you see all the hammer and the vacuum everything you've done is gone so it's going to be something new that's how the game will continue throughout the whole time yeah, and it's interesting because you're keeping the core mechanics the entire time. The double jump is still there, the dash is still there. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. The actual movement is there, yeah. but the mechanic itself changes. Mm -hmm. It's incredible how how you guys have just taken this approach of like, it seems like nothing's off the table. 
Like, you, there's, there's no limitations. No, no, for sure. So we can go here. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more stuff. I'm rushing you a little bit right now, but oh, it's, it's to cool. show you everything. Of course. I am, like, in the shooting. You oh, are and flying. I'm, I'm flying it, okay, yeah. Yeah, you can boost with the, you know, like, you can boost with the plane. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Without going too much details, you see that the airplane is made actually of Cody's uh, underpants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a... Because these squirrels actually steal stuff from their house, you know, so that's why. You're, you're doing great. You're, you're paving the way for me. No, no yep. test at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Make you look like a great gamer, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> these squirrels are quite crazy, man. Yeah, man, they, they're relentless. They don't stop. Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah, they are like, oh, shit. They're everywhere. Oh, shit. Okay. This oh, one. the door, the oh. door. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, shit. I forgot. No, it's I had okay. enemy. I had enemy. Yeah, okay, yeah, we yeah, still yeah. have health. We're good. We're okay, good. Okay. We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, shit, shit. Yeah, you, you see, you need to... You really I, need to I, I need to communicate. Yeah, I gotta tell you what's exactly. going on. <laughs> so here, what I'm gonna show you, like here, here comes the squirrel sheaf, and don't forget to control the plane. Now you still need to get it. Gotcha. Okay. I, I will be up here now. Oh my god, are you about to fight the squirrel? I'm. Whoops. Yes. Look oh, at this. All right, you ready? Yeah. Control the plane. <laughs> it's a fighting game. Yeah, exactly. No, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. I don't know that. Let me show you here. Oh shit, he does kind of a Hadouken shot. Oh, oh shit. Yo, that, that Zangief squirrel is trying to yeah, grab yeah, you, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you here, wait. Oh shit, he's a tough one. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Look here. Oh my god, yeah. And this goes on. I mean, imagine yes. all the work done here, KO. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it, I think. So and it's going to continue like this throughout yeah. the whole game. It's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Just wow. make sure to play with someone you love and enjoy the ride. Absolutely. You will have an experience like you've never had before. An extremely unique, variated, and you will never get tired of this game. Trust me. Where in America are you? Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles. Next time I'm there, I'll come by and we can go out for lunch or something. Oh, I would, I'd love to do that. That'd Let's do awesome. that, man. Let's do Absolutely. that for sure. Yeah, I come yeah. to LA a lot for sure.